1003 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, with the exception of just some flurries or a passing snow shower on day number 10, basically of storm-free conditions. And not only that, we're tracking a trend of below average temperatures too. Since the month of December started, we're now on day number 10 of 12 with colder than normal average daily temperatures. And then also if we go look all the way back to the beginning of November 1st, 32 of the last 40 day, 42 days have seen daily temperatures below average. Now this will be changing as we close out the week and head into uh, and through the upcoming weekend. But just keep in mind our normal low temperatures 25. We were closer to that this morning than we have been over the past several days and our normal high is 41. Uh, today many communities uh, may get close to the 40 degree mark, but uh, generally speaking uh, we are going to see uh, with the wind temperatures feeling more like the 20s for today and then tomorrow actually a little bit colder before that rebound as we close out the week on Friday. That's when it kicks in with highs by Friday back into the 40s, maybe even mid 40s. So 38 right now in Hartford, 37 for New Haven. We've got this northwesterly wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, and that is certainly making it feel sub freezing really all across Connecticut. 20s in the Northwest Hills right at 30 and Hartford also Willimantic feels like 29 in Meriden, 30 in New Haven. So if you have afternoon plans to take you out and about, you'll certainly need to have that jacket. But this evening, if you're perhaps heading to Holiday Late Fantasia, checking that out from Goodwin Park in Hartford South End, five to nine, 15 dollars a car and you get to stay in the warmth of your com uh, the comfort of your vehicle with temperatures as they drop from the 30s eventually into the upper 20s by the time it wraps up at nine. So right now we do have some scattered cloud cover looking live in the northwest hills from Torrington downstream of the Connecticut River here in Middletown looking great as well. A lot of sunshine not bad from the inside looking out in our view from New London also showing ample sunshine on this Wednesday afternoon. So little disturbance spinning away from the New England coast and that's why we've got that northwesterly wind right now and why we had a couple of snow flurries through the overnight hours, but the rest of today will be dry. As we look at the big picture, another disturbance working through the Great Lakes heads in our direction tomorrow, uh, and that's going to bring with it that chance for some snow showers or flurries, but the air here in Connecticut is so so dry that a lot of that uh, precipitation will have uh, a tough time reaching the ground. So here's future cast starts you off at noon today. Good amount of sunshine, a few clouds filtering overhead, and then overnight we're dry tomorrow. We'll start off with some sunshine, then clouds will be on the increase, and as we head through the course of our Thursday, uh, looking at perhaps some of those uh, snow showers, maybe even a little rain mixing along the shoreline. I think future cast bringing this in a little bit early. I think tomorrow afternoon through perhaps even the early evening hours, the potentials there uh, for that light precipitation. Uh, and if we see any sort of accumulation of snow, it would be spotty and light, but perhaps enough to uh, slicken up area roads uh, where that does come down. But I think again, very isolated nature. Highs for tomorrow, several degrees colder than today, but not as windy. And then for uh, Friday, uh, we'll end the week at least during the daylight hours dry highs back in the 40s and then clouds will be on the increase. Uh, some rain arrives Friday night be around throughout the day on Saturday. Then Sunday, perhaps some lingering showers on Saturday. We're going to get close to 50 will be several degrees cooler on Sunday, but still running above average. And then Monday of next week could uh, feature some scattered snow showers. As temperatures start trending in the downward direction Tuesday of next week, uh, fairly windy and for shoreline highs this weekend uh, 51 Saturday, then into the mid 40s on Sunday.